So what is traction alopecia, otherwise known as traction hair loss? Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Kate and I'm the Senior Director of Clinical Product Strategy here at Roe. Today I'd like to take you through debunking some of the myths around traction hair loss, as well as getting into some of the truths surrounding traction hair loss. Myth, all hair loss is genetic. Fact, while some types of hair loss, such as androgenic alopecia or male pattern baldness, are genetic, meaning they can be inherited, not all hair loss falls into that category. And one of those types of hair loss that is not genetic or inherited is traction hair loss. Traction hair loss occurs when the hair is repeatedly pulled on. And we most commonly see this with hairstyles that are tight or pull on the hair over extended periods of time. And that can cause damage to the actual hair follicles, and then that in turn can lead to hair loss. Myth, traction hair loss primarily starts on the crown or the top of the head. Fact, well, some types of baldness, such as male pattern baldness, do in fact often begin on the crown of the head. Traction alopecia or traction hair loss is different. We typically see that along the hairline or the top of the temples first. So traction hair loss often first appears looking like broken hairs along the hairline or redness along the hairline. It can then progress to the hair follicles becoming inflamed or bumps along the scalp. Over time, if traction hair loss becomes severe, it can even show up as ulcers or scarring and ultimately baldness in the affected areas. Myth, traction alopecia is always permanent. Fact, while late stage or severe traction hair loss can lead to permanent areas of baldness, earlier stages can actually potentially be reversed. If traction hair loss is identified early and the cause of it, such as a particular hairstyle, is then changed, that can often prevent permanent hair loss. If you think you might have traction hair loss, feel free to reach out to your row affiliated healthcare provider to get some advice on that. Myth, all hair loss is hormonal. Fact, some types of hair loss are indeed caused by hormones. For example, male pattern baldness is caused by higher levels of a hormone called DHT. Other types of hair loss, like traction hair loss, however, are not hormonally related, and they're more related to a physical stress or pulling on the hair. Thanks for watching. If you've got any more questions, feel free to comment below or subscribe to our channel to continue learning more about traction hair loss or other types of hair loss.